Sega. Yeah, so the idea was, in fact, to extract uh, the DNA from Total War and to inject that in the mobile space. This has to be a very accessible game. You must be able to pick up, learn it very straightforwardly, very easily. So you just start with a few elements, and then slowly, at the end of each map, you are given either an additional troops, additional building or additional order. Start playing with that, see how it works, see how you can adapt your strategy. To really get things to pop when it's so small on the iPhone screen, we need to look at colours, we need to look at composition, we need to look at shapes. So you can instantly tell that that's the dojo, that's the barracks. This is where I recruit this sort of troop, this is where I recruit that sort of troop. It is total war. So you want to start with something easy, smoothly, but you want to walk up to something really rich. It was a bit like this is Total War, this is Sparta, you want the full thing. You, you want to go for some real strategy game where you have a lot of units, a lot of options, and you have to, to think, and you, have, you can tailor your strategy, play a battle one way, and replay it another, and it's rich. And it rewards you for, from learning how to use all these elements. Sword units are strong against pike units, pike units are strong against cavalry, cavalry is strong against sword. Something that every uh, Total War PC players know and that you will find the same logic to battle system in Total War Battles. My favorite unit is actually cavalry. They are a little bit difficult to use. Uh, you need to be very careful about the timing and the strategy you need to adopt, but if you can use them well, they're really powerful. Probably the first unit I'm going to use experience point to upgrade to have elite samurai that are really badass because they are even capable sometimes of managing to deflect gunshot. And the second unit I like to use is a bit more sneaky as the ninja and also upgrading them to elite ninja that are capable to attack a unit and then we cloak, so basically become invisible again so that you can move them somewhere else and then take out another unit, which in some map is a very good shortcut. And one of our biggest challenges was actually to try to get that much game into the limited amount of memory that you have on a mobile device. In the beginning, uh, we were going to support the, the first iPad, the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS, and then uh, we were going to support Android, different resolutions, different phones, different tablets, etc. So it gradually grew. It happened over time, so it wasn't too much of a problem. We just made sure that uh, even on the lowest end device, you will still get the best gameplay that uh, is possible. 